This is question number six. We're told the circle C with center A has equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to zero. In part A for two marks, we need to find the coordinates of A. And in part B for two marks, we need to show that the radius of C is five. What I'm going to do is go ahead and complete the square for the circle. So we're going to have x, then we're going to have plus half the coefficient of the term in x, which is x minus 3. We need to square the bracket and subtract away now the 9. Then we're going to have plus, I'm going to complete the square for the terms in y. That will be y plus 2, all squared, minus 2 squared, which is minus 4, minus 12 is equal to 0. So from this we can write now that x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared is equal to, adding now the constants to the other side, 25. We can say that the general form of a circle is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. Therefore we've got our centre as a and that is going to be 3 negative 2 and we can say that the radius squared is equal to 25, therefore now the radius is going to be equal to 5. So we've done two parts in one. In part A, we found the coordinates by putting it in completed square form, and in part B, we've just shown that in this form now, this is the radius squared, therefore the radius is 5. We're told the points P, Q and R lie on C. The length of PQ is 10 and the length of PR is 3. In part C for 3 marks, we need to find the length of QR, giving our answer to one decimal place. So let's go ahead and draw a quick sketch. So what I'm going to have now is the circle, and we have the centre. We've got now the centre is going to be 3, negative 2. We'll put that just there, so 3, negative 2. So what we have then is the length of PQ is 10. This is a circle with a radius of 5, so if PQ is 10, that must be a diameter. So let's go ahead and put that on. So what we'll do is just put this here. So we've got now P just here, we've got Q here. Remember the radius of this circle is 5, that's 5 and that's 5. So this must now be a diameter. We've got P to R is going to be equal to 3. So if we put R just here, let's put R here. So R is going to be just there. And we want to, from this now, find the length of RQ. So let's put this just here. So what we have is something looking like that. So QR, we need QR. Using circle theorem, we can say that this is going to be a 90 degree right angle. Angles in a semicircle have a 90 degree right angle. This here is going to be 3. This one, remember, is 10. So we can say that RQ using Pythagoras is going to be the square root now of 10 squared minus 3 squared. So 10 squared minus the 3 squared. And that's going to give us now that RQ is equal to the square root of 91. We will give this now to one decimal place. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need now the square root of 91. The square root of 91 is 9.5 and that is going to be to one decimal place. So we can say now that this is going to be 9.5, and we're asked to give this now to one decimal place, so 9.5 to 1 dp. So all we've done is use now a bit of circle theorem and Pythagoras theorem.